All right, guys, we're talking about common product photography failures with Anthony from Virtuous Graphics. So you guys have seen thousands of clients. What are areas that people typically run into mistakes? So maybe they're coming to you and their listing isn't working and you see what they've done with photography or, you know, had other photographers in the past and it's like, oh, like this is, you know, what are the common things that people make mistakes with in photos or, you know, they might request it from you guys and it's, uh, hey, maybe we shouldn't do this. You know, maybe not the best idea. Yeah, sure. So I'll, I'll run through a couple of these. Um, probably the, so the biggest mistakes when someone sends us a listing and we're just like, wow, this just, just doesn't look good. Uh, probably the, the biggest area is like a people just trying to take it with their mobile phones. Like I know the iPhone has a great camera now, but there is a difference in terms of like composing a shot that things are just very difficult to do with an iPhone versus using like a DSLR. Um, so that's something that we see a lot. Like you can, you can do white background okay with an iPhone, but if you try to do any kind of lifestyle, it's probably just not going to look very good unless you do a lot of post editing. Uh, the other biggest mistake that we see is just for lighting. Um, a lot of people, if you're not using professional equipment, like you can do a DIY light box uh, with just cardboard and some white sheets and it'll look pretty good. Uh, and then you just use like a LED light and it'll look pretty good. But the difference between that is like you're gonna have to go and edit that photo very heavily in Photoshop to actually look convincing versus if you're using a professional setup uh, it's just gonna look good automatically and so you know that's a, a big thing in terms of like using equipment that can that can lead to a lot of problems um, the other thing too is with like overly complicated products we were talking about this a little bit earlier but for example there's certain things that are really difficult to do. So things that have reflective surfaces on them, that's very difficult to shoot. So like silverware, knives, things along those lines. Uh, anything that's glass is very, very difficult to shoot as Chandeliers. well. Chandeliers. Chandeliers would be, uh, yeah. Also anything that actually is like, you can't lie it flat on the ground. So for example, everything at this table is reflective. But like if I have like this bowl, for example, it's really easy to shoot because I can just lie it down flat on the ground, right? That's super easy. Uh, to take the shots, but I see a picture frame and it's hanging behind me. How do I actually, you know, because I want to see the string that the picture frame is hanging from. How do I actually shoot that in a shot? If I have a chandelier, I can't just plop that chandelier down. It's got to be suspended somehow. And so things like that, you know, those are just incredibly difficult to, to shoot. A lot of our shoots that we do, if we're doing white background, we can usually knock that out in 45 minutes to an hour. But then there's other things that we do for white background, like maybe we had a towel set and we have to iron the towels and we have to fold them to look good. Those shoots are like, maybe if we had a chandelier, that might take us like four or five hours just to shoot and get all the angles we need. So not to mention a chandelier is a lot of reflective parts. So what, yeah. what about an LED chandelier? I was looking at sourcing those. Could you guys do that? We, I mean, we can do anything. It just depends on like, <laughs> are we going to have to like build something to suspend it on our white background background? I mean, you know, that might be it. The, the other thing I'll say that, you know, that looks really good sometimes, but also really, really bad and more often bad than good is trying to Photoshop your lifestyle images. Mm, and that's so, actually a big question I was going to ask. So let's get to that. Should you Photoshop or not? Yeah. So Photoshop, works really great and we actually do Photoshop from time to time. It works good in some scenarios and it doesn't look good at all in other scenarios. So if you actually have really, and this is what I want, this is what I want to emphasize is you have to have very high quality white background images for this to look good. Uh, because when you actually Photoshop the image in, if your lighting isn't almost perfect, you're not going to be able to manipulate the lighting to look like it should in that scenario. So, but, Essentially, like the products that look good are something that we would call like a static product, a product that doesn't need to move and it doesn't need to be interacted with. So if, for example, I'm talking about the bowl from earlier, as long as I don't have to like put this in someone's hands and it's not being moved, a static product would work well. Where things look really bad is when you're trying to manipulate this into someone's hands or it's a product that needs to be moving, like a motion product. Uh, so like, for example, it, you'd never be able to really manipulate uh, like snow boots, someone walking in the snow with that, because you'd have to have the direct angle, the direct orientation um, with this product, because it's, it's a product that's going to be not stationary. So if I sent you a make America great again, <laughs> no, no. Okay. So if I sent you yeah, a hat, that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be pretty, yeah, that'd be pretty difficult to Photoshop, right? Because <laughs> think about it, it's on someone's head and someone's head is never going to be static. It's always going to be moving. That being said, if you had like a kitchen accessory, maybe an accessory for a blender, and the only thing that thing needs to do is just sit on the counter, there's probably enough stock images that we can figure out a way to make that look okay. Okay, good. Well, now you guys know what to do and what not to do.